Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? So far, I'm good. Good, good. Good evening. All right. Happy Father's Day to everybody in the group. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> how, was, how was your day, Ricardo? Um, very hard. Always working all day under this rain because here in a proper rain a little. Right. But I'm here trying to to learn a little more. Good, good, good. What about you, Foster? Uh, celebrating. Good, good. And Aleda, how was your day? A good. Um, I was working early, and then I I bought uh, food for my father and and took a dinner together. Good, very good. Does your father live with you? No. Okay. So it was a, a special event for, for today. Yes. All right, good. Okay, so welcome back. It's June 17th, Father's Day in El Salvador. And let's begin. Okay. Do you guys remember what we spoke about yesterday? The topics. Some phrases about times, about close of times. Um, close of time, what exactly do you mean, Ricardo? For example, um, in different sentences uh, with different times, for example, uh, in the past, in the present, and the future, right? Good, good. How many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. And yesterday we were working with uh, three parameters, we can say it, you know, like present, past, and future, just like Ricardo was saying. When you're having a real conversation or talking with somebody, um, you make a combination of, of all tenses. Not only the ones that we were practicing yesterday, but also some additional ones. Yep. Okay, what else did we talk about? Who remembers? What else did we talk about? Um. Uh huh. Foster, Alida. You guys remember what else we spoke about? What was our last uh, topic we discussed? We talked about uh, quarantine, uh, uh, how we we spend our time in quarantine. Okay. Quarantine and what do we think about about it? <laughs> All right. Good. Or we... or return from quarantine. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, we spoke about that too. We also mentioned in a very superficial way how we. Uh, celebrate Father's Day in El Salvador in the presents we usually get, you know. So, uh, okay. do you remember one year ago what you guys were doing? Where were you one year ago? We were uh, celebrate Father's Day with my father-in-law and my wife and my mother-in-law. Okay. Uh, in some rest some, all right i don't remember okay good and do you remember ricardo what you were doing one year ago one year ago and in the father's day uh-huh and i almost remember that and i bought a little little gift for my father right and i gave them i i get him and some money because he, sometimes he, he needs to buy some things for, for himself, right? Right, right. Okay, good. And Aleda, do you remember what you were doing one year ago? Uh, probably. 
I went with my family to Los Planes de Rendero, to La, to La Pampa, to eat no. pupusas. Okay, good, good. I haven't been in Los Planes for, for a while. I think like half a year. Okay. Yep. It's a, it's a nice place, a good destiny yeah. to go. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of my favorite places to go. Right. And the, and the last year I was studying and I have to, to go, I have to go to, I had to go to Saldaña Hospital. Oh. And I went to the hospital uh, one or two times for the, for per week. Oh. And I love it. I really like the, the, the cool of the. The weather. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The weather is nice, and, and the place is almost is also good. You know, nice view and everything. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you plan to go back to Los Planes someday soon, Alida? Yes, I think that is one of the many places that I plan to uh, visit when all is when everything is going to be normal. Right. Right. Good, good. Okay, so uh, that's going to be our first activity for today. I will give you a set of questions for you to discuss um, in pairs. Let me see where this document is. It's right here. Okay, do you guys see the questions? Do you see the questions that I share with you? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, so let yes. me ha, 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 eight to nine, eight to nine, right here. So I got these questions here. So you can use the ones that I have, the one you're seeing right now, and I also sent you the image to the WhatsApp chat. So you choose whichever you want. So um, let me make the groups. Okay. okay, so I will make three groups. Here we go. Ricardo.
when she she was the action. Well, uh, my father uh, met my mother because they were neighbors. Oh. And I guess he always flirted with her and sent her, sent her letters and something like that. And someday they, uh, they went to uh, Cojutepeque in Cerro de las Pavas and they, they get a boyfriend and, and girlfriend. <laughs> and so it was a relationship since they were kids. Okay, uh, next, are you happy with the way your father raised you? What is, what is raised in way? Raised is, uh, criar. Raised is criar. Criar, oh, okay. The way uh, raised. Uh, after my, grand, my, um, my grandfather died, uh, always for the Mother's Day and for her birthday, always all grandchildren sing to my grandmother the same song. The same song. Oh, it's yes. uh, it's, it is stay as a tradition. Uh, yes. Um, an amazing tradition, right? That I think that it won't, won't yes. be, uh, uh, it will repeat uh, for, for many years, right? Yes. Okay, uh, the okay, next yes. one. Okay. Um, Are you happy with the way your father raised you? What is the meaning of raised you? Um, the way that they grow up to you. For example, uh, I'm going to say you in Spanish, la forma en que ellos te, te crecieron. Okay. Okay. Are you happy with the way your father raised you? Affection for her. Um, okay. In you? In my case. What about you? In my case, <laughs> my mother, I, uh, I don't, I don't tell me about the, the, um, how the, um, how the in love with my with my father. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next next the question next. number three. Are you happy with the way your father ra raised you? Uh, Jaime. Yes. Uh, but um but 10 or 20 years ago that wasn't wasn't possible it wasn't a uh, um, normal thing yes in, in this time the 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 father and the mother uh, shared these responsibilities because uh, the woman need to go out to work uh, the men too but in this time it's, it's possible it's, it's more normal Hello. 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 I can hear you. Next. Hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Number five. What's the What's the best piece of advice your father has given you? Good education, because uh, even okay. when I don't have a, a career. But I am I'm I'm considering myself that I'm a good woman because okay. uh, I don't know I have many friends that uh, is is of my same age and they have a, a lot of children or or living a life uh, uh, like a crazy in Brilliant. the whole extension of the world yeah um, oh I'm sorry okay if you want. That. Next, yeah. next one. Okay, okay, the number five. Number five. Okay. No, What's number number four. Number four. Okay. Should father stay at home 
and look after the kids. Two fathers stay at home and look after the kids. Mm, I didn't understand the, the question. And I think that it means that eh, si los padres deben quedarse en casa y mirar los, ah, a los okay. niños. Okay, I get it. And okay. I think that that is... Okay, Jaime? I think it's important the as a father uh, uh, with a mother uh, look the kids um, but I think uh, the father uh, should be time for other things. But it's, it's important the child uh, see the, the father in, in stay in their home because it's very important uh, the child uh, when child grow, grow up, uh, they have or in the memory have a uh, the tie, the good tie, uh, stay with the your father. Okay. I think that it's very important uh, that kids grow up with. Uh, her father, her father, because uh, the kids or the children need a a great model to be a, a improved person in the life. Good. Okay. In the future, so you can you can do it right and never think. Mm -hmm. Then, what's the biggest lie you ever told your father? No. I don't remember. The most bigger lie. Uh, she told me work, right? Yes, yes. Yes, it is not the same education in a country than other, right? Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, because here, uh, for example, me, I live with my parents um, 27 years. And in the United mm. States, when, when the, the kids has... 18, 18, they have they, to leave their home. Really? When they turn 18? Yes. When, when they turn 18, when they complain this age? Yes. Okay. They have to leave the, the home. Yes. Oh, well, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay, very interesting uh, date. Uh, okay, then. And you, three. what do you think? Uh, the number six always. Mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, um, have in my memory and because it's uh, a very uh, care, care when I was a child. And you, Veronica? Uh, I, I remember uh, that um, that say me uh, that be obedient, I don't know, obedient and, and study hard. Only that. Uh, the next one. Uh, do you think 
father are the same all around the, the world? I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same. Uh, be a father around the world. Oh. Okay. And what about you, uh, Gloria? Gloria? Hello? Hi. Um, I think... Eight, sorry. Eight. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, what do you think is the hardest thing about being a father? What do you think about is the hardest thing? I think being... the, the hardest is that always, I mean, uh, the celebration of the day of the, of uh, the Mother's Day is bigger <laughs> than the, <laughs> than the yes. Father's Day. And yes. I think that the love is more, in some cases, it's more for the mother that, than a father. Yeah, yeah I totally agree. Mother's Day is, um, is celebrated in a, in, a, in a big way, so, so to speak, right? In a big way than father. Father sometimes only, oh, father, how are you? Thank you, a little, a, a little you. And it's finished. But however, Mother's Day, everybody, everybody comes to the, to the, to the house. Uh, Sometimes uh, they plan a big party to celebrate Mother's Day, but sometimes uh, Father's Day is is in a little in a little level, right? Yes, but in you know, and yeah. when when I can, I when when I got my 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 salary, I I buy I I buy uh, some roses or flowers for my mother, but I yeah. bought for my my father too. I, I try yeah. to, to, to do 50-50 for, for both of them. <laughs> okay, that's a yeah, very, very nice thing. A good yes. thing uh, for you, right? To try to, to motivate them at the, same, at the same level, right? Because sometimes, yes. and, I, and I tell you this as a father that I, that I am, sometimes we feel a little sad because uh, we see the, the big difference when when the preference the, for the mother <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yes number nine okay and um, what, what's the biggest lie <laughs> what is is different is very different uh, because uh, the mother uh, feeling is very different because she uh, she should care in different topics in the different care but in the in the case of the father uh, is more in the in the uh, specific uh, Spain for for food, for expenses uh, about the food or the home or the clothes. But in the case of mother, is in all topic about the, the care. Okay. And you, Veronica? I think um, uh, it's more difficult for for the mothers because mothers always take care of their of their children and 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 are with them from before birth. Um, Okay. I think uh, be a mother is very difficult uh, because uh, she had she, she pregnant and she had 
uh, many changes in your body. Um, the love of a mo with a mother is is big, but the father uh, had a part to uh, difficult too. But for me, it's more difficult uh, being a, a mother. Yeah. The woman uh, start to be a, a, a mother before to the, to the men uh, to be a, a father because the mother feel the their child in, in her so much and in this time she 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 changed your side life. Okay, okay. The next one question. Uh, what do you think is the harder thing about being a father? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Please, if... <laughs> who is a father? <laughs> uh, I, I don't have a father yet, but I think uh, be a father, uh, we have a... a Big responsible, responsible, responsibility. Uh, re, a more responsibility task to pay all the 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 bills and <laughs> and and the milk of the baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, teacher. What about you? <laughs> uh, well, I agree with him, you know, like bringing what is necessary to the house is is what concerns me the most. You know, like, you know, I get paid and usually I don't think about the things that I might need, but I'm also, I, I'm always thinking about the things that the house needs, my children, shoes, uh, things related with school. So I think that making sure that you bring the things that are necessary is my main concern. Okay, okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, and what number is that? What, what was the number of the question? It's the number eight. eight. Okay. What do you think is the hardest thing about being a father? Okay, good, good. What's the next one? Next one is what what's the biggest lie you you have ever told your father? Volunteer to answer that one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I never lie my father because I don't live with him. <laughs> okay. So did you grow up with your mother? Yes. Okay. But my mother is from me. In this case, I don't say the, the lie. Okay. Say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not the right time to confess. Exactly. All right. Good. Me too. I don't grow up with my father, only with my mother. Uh, but my father uh, gave me, uh, set me a different style. For example, uh, I tried to, to send the money the next month. I never, never arrived this month. I never have uh, the money. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Uh, in my case, I remember that I I didn't I didn't tell him um, that my cell phone was stole, stolen. Stolen, yes. Uh, okay, it 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 was a a present of my father. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, mm -hmm. and did, did they take it from you or did you leave it in a place and maybe you were distracted? Uh, distracted, teacher. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do the last one. The last one. What are the biggest rules we, we see as, as an error from us, why? Yeah, right. Okay. Try to give a very good example for our sons. Yeah, yeah exactly. Be, be uh, a role model. Okay. Good. Okay. Did you finish all the questions? Yes. 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 All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Bye, Elida. Bye, Lara. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. It says, I will get better if I practice more. Yeah. Now, I could have put, if I practice more, <clears throat> I will get better. And then okay. number four says, she will say yes if you propose it. Or okay. I could have said, if you propose it, she will say yes. Now, can somebody tell me the differences between one and two, the structures that we have in one and two, and the structures that we use with the last <clears throat> two, with three and four? What is the main difference there? The message the main is exactly the same. The main difference is that the particular if is at the beginning of the of the sentence. Right. Right. And when the sorry. <laughs> yes, Rick. Yes. Okay, so yeah, it, one and two, the if clause is at the beginning. Okay. Three and four is at the end. Now, in terms of punctuation, what, what do you have to do different with three and four? When it doesn't have a comma. Exactly. Yes. And that is the only difference. So when you're using the first conditional, you may start your sentence with the if clause, or you can use it at the end. So if you start your sentence with the if clause, a comma in the middle is necessary. Okay. If you prefer to leave it at the end, then you don't need a comma. So that's why I wrote two different examples there. Okay. Um, any questions? Mm -hmm. It's oh. clear. Okay. It's clear. Let me see. Um, where is this? Ha, ha, ha. Right here. Send you this, 8 to 9 p.m. <clears throat> okay, so I just sent you a, a, an image where you're gonna have to decide what the best answer is. Did you get the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs because uh, with the first one, you guys were working in triads and then um, with with even four. So let me do this here. So Aleda goes to room one. Henry goes to room one. And then Foster will exchange with Gloria. And Rick will exchange with Veronica. All right, so let me see this here. Move to room four and move to room four. Here we go. Hi. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, hello. Sorry, because I... I can you I, hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay. Okay, so you're supposed to be in room four with Laura, but it says that okay. you're not joined yet. No. Okay, let me see this here. Because usually you're the last one to connect uh, when I'm making the pairs or the groups. Okay. I guess I'll send her to room one. And I'll send you to room two. Okay.
We will see each other next week. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Henry. <laughs> okay, number uh, four. Okay, number four, it says, if, if we come, we will be late. Okay. Okay. The next number one. Six. Gloria, number, number six. six. If we go on holiday this summer, we will go to Spain. Okay. If we go on holiday this summer, we will go to Spain. Okay. Uh, Ricardo? And the last one. Number, number seven. Yes, number seven. Okay. If the weather not improve, if the weather not improve, and we will, we won't have a picnic, we right? We won't. Yes, we, won't. we will not. Okay. We will not. Okay. okay. But con in okay. contract, uh, we won't. Yes, we won't have a okay. picnic. Happy. If they were. And we can say in the opposite way, right? And we won't have a picnic if the weather not, not improve. Doesn't improve. Doesn't, Doesn't improve, Ray. Right? Doesn't, Doesn't improve, person. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we, say, can we say in the opposite way all the, all the sentence? Which way? Which way? Uh-huh. For example, number one, we say, if I go out tonight, and I will go to the cinema. Okay. Sure. In and we all... Yeah, you can say it like, yeah. I'll go to the cinema if I go out. Sure. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh... In, the, in the number three, if we... Uh, doesn't no don't no no or is don't if we yeah, don't, don't see each other tomorrow uh huh okay doesn't for only three third person right? exactly yes exactly. yeah doesn't yeah. is for the third person singular if yeah. we don't see each other tomorrow we won't see each other next week or we will see each other next week. Right. Right. We finished the show. Okay, that, that was quick. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let me check this here. Did what, you... is, what is the answer of this? Because I write in, in the third, I, I try to write. Um, the party on um, the platform uh, give me a run. Yeah, so me too. So we were discussing with Aleida uh, that I just got one uh, correct. The last one I put, it's a uh, dance. And, dance. And, uh -huh, but the last one. This it's is the uh -huh, the la that's the only one that I got correct. <laughs> <laughs> the only one. I tried so many ways times and I, really I I'm exhausted. Hello. Okay. Did, did you try changing the punctuation? Yes, I tried so many times and so many ways that I don't know what to do. <laughs> Okay, in what section are you talking about? Oh, we're talking the one that we asked you uh, b before about the exercise number 3.6. 3 uh, the one that is uh, a listening and is, is about the, the carnival in Brazil, in Rio. Oh, okay. So it, there are four answers and I just got only one correct and I try at uh for example the first the first 
uh, answer, I put it's a party with the point at the uh -huh. end. With the period, uh -huh. the period and does doesn't go. <laughs> okay. So it says wrong. Uh huh. So I don't know what else to. I oh I try with it's a party from uh, Brazil in Rio, or I mean I try. Uh, oh I have listened the the audio like so many times so right, I don't know. right. So, so definitely <laughs> I do either yeah so definitely the, the the problem with the answer has to do with with punctuation because the listening exercise is not too difficult so it's easy to understand and get the right answer mm -hmm. so the issue might be related with punctuation so let, let, let me double check on that section in particular okay if you want, okay. I will set the uh, uh, screenshot that I uh -huh. have okay. about, about how I write down. Okay, good. Yeah, please. All right, so let's return to the main session. All right, are there any questions about the last exercise? No. no, no. Okay, so the idea of whatever we discuss here is that you apply it in your life, either at work, at university, at home, when you're talking with your friends. So um, I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs and use it in your life. So if I said, if I go to the gym, I will improve my health. If I stop um, drinking too much soda, the sugar will reduce in my blood. So things that are true in my life, are the instructions clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. All right, so let's do this. So Aleda, she goes to room four. Ricard, Veronica, you go to room four. Gloria goes to room three. And here we go. in this moment I, I have a problem with the communication mm, no it's just that I, I don't um teacher yes sir what is the exercise uh, I can hear you Henry one more time please what is the exercise this oh, moment. oh, to apply the first conditional to your life. If if oh. I, if I pay more attention 
to my mother, I will live longer. Okay. So use it in, in, your, in your real life uh, scenario. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, so... If I wear mask correctly, I, I, I won't get coronavirus. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Politicians, what do they usually promise when they're trying to convince you to get your vote? If, if you, you vote for me, uh -huh. uh, I will give you a job. Okay, if you vote a for fine. me? I will give you a fine job. Right. Yeah, if you vote for me, I will create jobs for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do they say if you vote for the competition? What do they say? The competition. Uh huh. So if, if you vote for the other guy, what do they say? Do they say something positive or negative? Negative. Sometimes, sometimes negative. Trying to to say the opposite. Right, yeah, they're trying to say bad things about the, the, the rival. Okay, yes. Yeah, I mean, that's how politicians usually run here in El Salvador. Oh, yeah, exactly. yes. All right. Okay, so let me go here. <clears throat> if I learn English, I will speak with other people around the world. Good. Okay. Another thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Aleida. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. If I, if I eat mm, a lot of a lot of today and I I will be fat <laughs> all right <Yes. laughs> okay let's go back to the main session yeah. okay teacher All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today's session? Well, it was very clear. Okay, good. All right, so if you don't have any other questions, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. 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 Bye. Have a good night. Thank you, take care. Thank good you night. for your time. Bye-bye. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.